Hey, Shalom, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites will come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of the wicked kingdom Babylon, Egypt, right? Sodom and Gomorrah, right? And we know it through the scriptures to be America. First and foremost, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekaha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. We are here for the elect and elect only of the 12 tribes of Israel. Judah, the so called Negroes, Benjamin, the West Indian Jamaicans, Levi, are the so called Haitians, Reuben, are the Seminole Indians, Gad, are the North American Indians. We got Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. You have Zebulon, is Guatemala to Panama. Manasseh, the so-called Cubans. Simeon, the so-called Dominicans. Right, and Ephraim are the so-called Puerto Ricans. And Asher is Colombia to Uruguay. And Naphtali is Argentina to Chile, okay? These are the 12 tribes of Israel, who are our big brother, right? Yahweh Shai, and this is, this is an artist's rendition of how Revelations 1 in 13 to 15 says his appearance is. Now we're not we're not saying that he's he looks exactly like this, but the scriptures speak of the apparel that he wearing and the color and, and the hair. Okay. Alright? And, and we don't we don't hang this image up on the wall and worship this image. We worship the, the power and the spirit, okay? Somebody asked me one time, do we do we actually worship this poster? No, we don't. Okay. You know, not like most people who, uh, 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 so-called Christian people, but this image right here, they'll hang, they'll hang a poster up in their home and they'll, they'll look up to it and, and pray to it, okay? This is not how the Lord looked according to the scriptures, okay? He didn't have a, a, a red skin, right? He didn't have blue eyes, he didn't have straight hair. He had hair of wood. Like like uh, like uh, burnt grass, which is dark skin, right? And his eyes was red as the flame of fire. Because the Lord did what? The Lord actually drank wine when you read in Matthew, and he was he was being he was the 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 uh, the worrying of his people, man. You know, of the state of Israel. You know, he he was he was angry with the state of Israel, so he had he had that. When you read in Revelation, the first chapter, it's going to show the description and more, look more like this poster I held up first than this one right here. Okay. So a lot of stuff was going on. A young brother right here asked me a question about uh, uh, he came up and he said that uh, he was he was gad mixed with Negro, right? So he's a gadite. Because he says father is, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is the book of uh, Numbers, the first chapter. And when you read, and when you read in Leviticus 26, is this, these statutes were given to Israel. When you read in Exodus the fourth chapter, Israel was the Lord's firstborn. When you read in, the, in when you read through the, when you read through the scriptures. When you always read the first verse of the chapter, that's the subject matter, and then basically, it, hey, 90, 90, 95 percent of the time, is, is, you're gonna see that name Israel in the beginning, which is the subject matter. So you have to find out who Israel is, okay? Israel in the Hebrew is Yah Shar Allah. Yah is He. Shar in Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew, Shar is Prince, and Allah means power. He's a prince of the power. He got that name when he wrestled the angel in the 32nd chapter of Genesis, okay? So his children would be uh, Israel, since his name was changed to Israel, if he had children, their name would be Israelites. Just like my father had a last name, and when I was born, I took on what? His last name, just like this brother here. You know, we're supposed to take on the name of our father. Now, you have a lot of our people in our nation they don't have the name of their fathers. They, the, the mother and the father is separated, and the mother give the, the child her name or whatever. So that 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 even though you're living through your seed line, that name won't live on because you sometimes you give uh, kids the name of some other man, man. You know. Case in point, I got kids like that. My kids don't even have my last name. You know. But bet you it was a big stink about whether it was my kids or not. You gotta go through courts.
But then in the same sense, they only have my name. They got another man last night. So, you know, so that's what it be. So, when you read in the book of Numbers, okay, the first verse, I'm gonna show you the subject matter. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacles of the congregation of the first day of the second month in the second year, they come out of the land of Egypt. So who came out of the land of Egypt? The Israelites. That whole parting of the Red Sea, the sea opening up, those were Israelites going down in there. Because when you go back into Exodus, in the first chapter, it'll tell you that the Israelites came to Egypt uh, uh, with, with uh, Jacob. Seventy souls came into Egypt out of, out of the land of Israel, which was called Canaan back then. So you read these subject matters, it's always dealing with Israel. This, this is our book, right? This book was for the Israelites and no other nation. It's, you have to, like, you could have uh, what they call, we call changing the faces, all right? If your father's an Israelite, okay, and he goes sleep with a woman of another nation, he could sleep with a, a Japanese, he could sleep with a uh, so-called white woman, he could sleep with an a, 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 a Arab, uh, Ishmaelite, which is Ishmael. You can sleep with a Japanese. Guess what? The baby's gonna be an Israelite. Now, when you flip it, if a, if a man of another nation sleeps with one of our women, you're bringing on the seed from another nation. But that seed from another nation is growing into you. So that baby will be of another nation, even though it might look like us. Case in point, when you read it, Herod, 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 and them, Herod's, uh, uh, father he had black women so he came out looking like you would look if you ever seen a, 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 a what you call what we say mix just for mix means Arab so we just say it for the understanding that the people know here you know how it looks when a white man sleeps with a black chick then you when a black man sleeps with a white girl you could put those two mixed kids together you could see some kind of difference in them okay all right, so I'm gonna read this. This is Numbers 1 and 18. It says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families, and their pedigree is your bloodline, right? If you ever been into people who fight dogs or whatever, they'll say, what's the pedigree? They wanna know that bloodline of that dog to see if he's a grand champion or not. So the scriptures is saying, he declared their pedigrees after the families. Why? Because it was so many of us came over. Everybody was all mixed in. They didn't know who was who. Like, hey, okay, wait a minute. We got to get this order going. Okay? And it says, by the house of their fathers. So they figure out who your father. Uh, I'm, I'm such and such. You know, of the tribe of this son of this person, the tribe of this person. And that's how they knew. So your, your, your pedigree goes through the house of your father. Because a man has what's called sperm. Okay, it's a seed. When you go into the Greek, that sperm is a seed, and it finds the, the uh, uh, finds her eggs that come out of her fallopian tube, and it goes in, and that 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 sperm is actually a spirit. It's the it's the actual. Uh, uh, it grows to be a person, so it takes on the nationality of the father. Okay. So whatever you are, like you said, you were mixed with a uh, Native American and, and Negro. If you're your now, if you're uh, if the Native American side of your father, then you're a Native American. But you know the original Native Americans. You see how dark they are. They dark. You know what I mean? Right, it's yeah, like right. yeah, it's like you're dark. Man. Yeah, because I think I I don't know if I brought the book, but I got a book called Black Indians. Mm -hmm. They they dark. So it's only with like these actually. When you look at the sign I got right here, see most of the tribes, see, I got a sign right here. These tribes, Reuben, if you can look up there, those are dark skin. They look like they look like black men right there. When you look at that. You got Levi, they dark, Simeon, even the Gad, the Native Americans, they got the brown toned skin. Because the whole earth, you're either gonna be a sh different shades of brown or you have different shades of red. Because who we call the so-called white people, they're different shades of red. 
okay? They're not white, and you never, they're not, you never seen nobody color your t-shirt, and you never seen a so-called black dude color your pants. If you go to Africa, what you're seeing is the darkest color of brown. It, it is, it, where the sun hit it, they'll look blue kind of, but it's the darkest color of brown you can get. Right. Right? You ain't never seen, you see somebody just straight up black, you probably need to run. Or if you see somebody straight up white like your t-shirt, there's something wrong with them. Right. So it's two colors on the planet. Because you go in Genesis, the second chapter, the Lord created everything from the ground. So we wear different shades of brown. And then when you go deeper into the ground, the soil gets darker. It's more rich. So yeah, I was shy. He was that dark shade of brown. It said like he was burnt in a furnace. So if you burn some wood in a furnace, it's gonna look dark when it's when it cool it down. So he was he's when he comes back, people are gonna be amazed how dark he is. They're gonna be like, oh shit. And then some people are gonna say, I always knew it. Some people are gonna say they always knew it, and they and they, they not even gonna be uh, of the uh, salvation. They gonna be of other nations. You know, it's people of the nations. They they say, yeah, he dark. You know. But then you have people that try to fit themselves in our our our, our uh, covenant is coming. Okay. You gotta remember, man. Like you got a class of men, the Edomites. They basically uh brought us over here into captivity. You hung us in trees, you beat us. You are enjoying the riches of the world right now, but yet you still want to walk into the kingdom, like forget about it. The Lord haven't forgot about it. Because he says in Isaiah 14, prepare a slaughter for the iniquities, for prepare a slaughter for the children, for the iniquity of their fathers. So the children that's walking around now, that, that are in the families of these Edomite men who've done all that wrong to us, they are gonna pay. Like, you know, because and, and, they're reaping the benefits of our, from our backs, from the Native American Indians, man. You know, from the Negroes, you know. We, we, helped, we helped them out a lot when they came over here because they didn't know nothing. We taught them how to survive in the winters. We taught them how to, uh, what to eat, what not to eat. And then they, they turned around and, and brought and brought a lot of our native brothers and took us back to Spain and put us in slavery in Spain. Cause you see a lot, if you go to Spain, it's a lot of Spaniards that look Native American. They'll be like, oh no, I'm Spaniard. Nah, no, you're a native. Cause you, you come from the slave trade. And then they killed us off, man. Cause they say Columbus didn't drop his sword for like hours in and hours out. He killed, like killed us, man, a lot, you know? So you see these dark skin, like even like, I'm gonna show you in the camera if I can. Look at Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. You see, you see them little kids, right? Look how dark they are. That's a picture from like original Puerto Ricans. See how they black, you know, they, what we call black, dark. So the, 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 the tribes are dark skinned tribes. Now what you get, you see the Puerto, you see them, them, them Puerto Ricans right there, how they look all light skinned. Where you get that at, and then you got natives who look like that as well, and you got some so-called Mexicans who are in the car, they look like that as well. When you get that at, it's because you had the conquistadors. The white Spaniards came over here, and basically when they were conquering, you basically they they, they basically uh they they mix with the women, okay? So that's where you have that the what a, what the Israelites start looking more like. And then if they had a son, the son could pass on the sperm. So that means if he, if he go with a, another black, so-called black girl, a dark-skinned girl, and have a kid, the baby gonna come out probably looking more dark, more like you. Then if he go with another dark-skinned woman, it's gonna look more like me, and it'll keep going till it'll look dark, but it'll be a, a, a so-called another nation. See, long as it's a boy, and, he, and, he, and you know, because I have a, uh, I have a stepson. His father is, uh, you know, what we say Jake. We say Jacob's kid. He's he a, he a Negro, right? But he, he has a, uh, he has a, uh, his his wife is a, a, a white, so-called white girl, straight up. So they had a baby. The baby got like blue eyes and like kind of straight hair, no curly hair. But that baby is an Israelite. It's of our nation because it come out of him. So now I'm gonna show you this one in Matthew. 
Uh, let's see here. Then Matthew. Is it 13? Matthew. Matthew 13 and 24. It says, Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which soweth good seed in the field. Okay, now the field, the field, let me show you what the field is. F I E L D. The field uh, is right here. This is, this is Matthew 13 and 38. It says the field is the world. So the field right here is talking about the world. So it says a man who sowed good seed. So when you sow seed, right? Because when you read in the scriptures, it, it likens us to, to a husband, a husband, a husband, which means a farmer. When you read in the Bible, the parable, it's always talking about planting seeds, sowing seeds. It always talks about plowing. It, 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 it equates the whole our whole existence with farming. Okay, if you sow a seed, right? That means you got to cultivate. You have to stick that seed into the ground, which is the earth. And then what happens? It grows. It, it needs water to grow. Okay, for a man, for us to procreate, we have to sow our seed into a woman. They call the women earth. This is my earth. Yeah, right? You never, you never heard that before? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like we, we plant our seeds in her, mm -hmm. right? Which I, this is another name for a plow. Because you ever heard Jake be having sex, man, I plowed her out. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah. You plant your seed in her, mm -hmm. then the baby has to grow and it actually grows inside her uh, uterus in water. Yes, sir. You see? Mm -hmm. So it says, it says, verse 25, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went and went his way. So what they're saying is said, while men slept, right? Yes. It said, while men slept, let me show you this. Now, we have, we got this Bible app called Bible Sword, right? That, that right there, Bible Sword. It's a Bible sword app, right? Uh huh. Uh, let me go back out and show you what it looked like from the from the jump. Shoot, see that right there? Yeah, my sword, my letter. Yeah, my sword. Mm -hmm. Then you got the blue letter. Okay. Now, my sword. You can when you download a module, you can tell it to download a concordance which each scripture, each word, you can look up the H, with it, the H, that's Hebrew. Mm -hmm. So if I wanna know the uh, the word spirit in the Hebrew, the 7307, I just click that, and it's gonna go to a whole, and it's gonna give me definitions of that particular word spirit, which is in the Hebrew, that word is rakah. Rakah. Spirit is rakah, meaning the wind, the breath, the mind, the spirit. See, it gives you the definition. So the spirit is like a, a, it's like the, like the, like the wind. You can't see the wind, but you know it's there. Okay, that's it gives you the definition of that particular word in that scripture. Because a lot of words you read in the scriptures, you'd be like, oh, I know what that word is, but in that context of that scripture, it don't mean it means something different. So yeah, so we have these concordance. Oh, we we used to have books, concordant books, but like a. Hey, Hey man, so-called white man made it easy, right? Bible apps. It's right. the same thing. Like they took all the information and compiled it to this into one thing into that. Yeah. Thing. So you know. Now we were reading. Hey, what time you got, sir? Uh, six fifteen. Uh, we were reading in uh, Matthew eleven. We were reading Matthew thirteen. I think we were in twenty-five. Okay. It says, but while men slept, the men are the Israelites, right? Because mm -hmm. you gotta remember, we were led into captivity. We came over here uh, on cargo slave ships, okay? Right. Now, it says that particular word is 
it's, it's Matthew now in the in the New Testament is Greek. The Old Testament is Hebrew, New Testament is Greek. So when you go to the New Testament, you're gonna see G as meaning Greek. So that Greek word is kath yodu. Kath yodu. That's that Greek word for the word slept. To fall asleep, to drop off to sleep, uh em em emphatically to be dead, metaphorically to yield, to sloth and to sin. To be indifferent to one's salvation, to fall asleep figuratively, to be asleep. So they were sleeping mentally. They, they they not only not only sleeping sleeping, but not knowing who they, they they not knowing that that dude was straight up their enemy. He didn't mean them no good in the time of slavery. Because a lot of times when the man would go get off work, he'd be in work all day, he'd be tired, he'd go home, and then they would tell what? Hey, tell your wife to come over here, and they sleep with her. This scripture saying while they slept, he went in there and he sold his seed into one of the, like, the uh, slave women, okay? It says, but while men slept, this enemy came in and sold tares among, among the wheat. See, the wheat are the Israelites. Okay, when you have a field, see how you see how I made the analogy of a field right, again. Right, yeah. When you got wheat, when you have the the the, the, the weeds that grow in there, mm -hmm. you got to like separate it because it'll actually choke out the the good wheat and it'll kill it. So right. when plants are growing, you notice how people are always go and pulling grass out. Like they don't want the grass. Weed. Yeah. So that's what it's saying right there. He went in there. He sold in the good feet in the good the Israelites the, the good. He put a baby in the women. Right. Right? And left them pregnant, right? So, and it says, and you gotta remember, we read that the seed is from the man. Okay? And it says, then he went his way. They did it in the time of slavery. They'd be like, hey, tell your wife to come over here. And they would sleep with her. Then, after he sleep with her, he'd go on back in his house, have his little uh, high dollar scotch, smoke his cigar, cross his legs. You know? And then a lot of times, that, that old master would fall in love with certain women. Nice. He make her come in the house because he like her. She don't look all broke down and beat up like the, the darker 